The pistol just ran, you know, very, very smoothly. So, you know, you wouldn't expect anything less for that price, obviously. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Zev OZ9 9mm pistol. So first of all we'll show you what it comes with. Now we've got this uh, user manual here and we've also got this really nice uh, carry case and um, you know it is very well presented. So we'll just go ahead and clear it. You can see no rounds in it. Now Overall weight of this is 750 grams or 1.65 pounds. We're pretty much, if you're familiar with the Glock, you'll be very familiar with Zev making a lot of aftermarket uh, custom parts, you know, for the Glock. This uh, pistol, however, is made from the ground up uh, by Zev. So it's a little bit different to uh, the Glock, although a lot of the, um, uh, I, I guess the functionality of the Glock um, you will see in this pistol. So where it differs mainly is it's got a uh, steel receiver into a lower uh, polymer uh, frame here, okay? So there's a, a pin at the front here you can knock out to take that out. Obviously, um, your slide there, uh, you know, I mean, that's um, customized, <laughs> honestly, to the hill. We've got... Uh, a cut out here to make it a little bit lighter there. We've got the Opti um, mount there so you can put different red dots on. We've got uh, fixed sights, but the front sight is a orange high-vis uh, sight. We've got the uh, loaded chamber indicator there. And uh, look, basically, there's some nice serrations on it. You can really get a good grip whether you like to grab the front of the frame to uh, cycle it or you a little bit more traditional like me and just grab to the rear there so there's serrations there for either of your preferences on the bottom here we've got a uh, picatinny rail so it's cut out there so you can easily add a light or a laser the barrel on it is a match grade barrel uh, threaded for half inch by 28 tpi there at the at the front so if you want to put a compensator you can do that if you want to put a suppressor if that's legal in your area then obviously you've got the option for that as well now the frame, it's got a uh, 1911 uh, grip angle here. So it feels very, very comfortable in the hand. We've got these, um, honestly, if any of you are used to like skateboard tape, that feel, that is exactly how this feels here. Um, so quite a nice uh, grip on it when it's in the hand. Obviously, as you are out shooting and you get sweaty, uh, that's gonna aid in you know you maintaining that good grip on the pistol. The uh, mag release here is, uh, yeah, a little bit oversized by the look of it. So obviously you're going to be able to find that, um, you know, when you're in a competition, you need to do a quick mag change. We've also got the flared mag well here, which is obviously going to aid in uh, quicker, you know, uh, reloads there. So the uh, magazine is just a 10 round Magpul Glock mag. So obviously if you've just got standard Glock mags, well, you can use them, you know, with the pistol as well. The trigger on it, now look, this is um, honestly, I, I really think just from dry firing it, there's only so much they can do with this trigger because it's still the Glock mechanism as such. You've still got that uh, trigger safety in the middle there and just that bit of a long draw before it goes uh, click. Okay, so uh, I've measured it with my trigger uh, pull gauge and about four, four and a half pounds. So it's, it's not super light. Uh, by any means, but look, it is very clean, um, very crisp. Um, you know, I have to be honest with you there. So takedown on this for cleaning is very, very simple. Um, you know, pretty much identical to the Glock. So just pull back on the slide slightly, the takedown tabs on both sides there, pull them down, and then just pull the trigger and slide the um, uh, slide straight away or straight off from the frame there. We've got our mainspring here, take that out. Um, when you take the barrel out, obviously you need to take that 
uh, end cap off the barrel, otherwise it won't fit through the hole in the slide there. Barrel comes out like so. So obviously you can clean it very, very easily. Like I say, identical to the Glock. Okay, so uh, price on this guys, obviously it's made in the USA, but $2,850 here in Australia at the time of doing this review. So look, it's not cheap, so I'm expecting a lot out of the pistol. So let's get out to the range now and just see how it performs. Okay guys, so we'll run you through the ammo we'll use through the ZEV today. So we'll start off with the 150 grain uh, Federal Syntec ammo. Then we've got a 115 grain metal case from Remington. Then we've got 124 grain uh, from Winchester Defence. And then finally we've got 147 grain uh, from Winchester, the wind clean ammo. So we've got a good variety here. We'll just fire 10 shots there at 10 metres and just see which one the ZEV prefers. Okay, so looking at the ammo, I mean, look, the pistol is definitely accurate. Um, you know, there's a bit of human error, obviously, shooting freehand, but the first uh, Federal ammo, you know, was pretty good, but then just the cheap <laughs> Remington. Look at that. You know, that would be definitely my preference, uh, you know, just for some fun shooting. Unfortunately, yeah, the Winchesters didn't do as good, but anyhow, I'm going to have a bit of fun with the Remington ammo now. So mag loading is fairly easy, you just push down at the back and you can slide the rounds in easily enough, just like any Glock mag if you're used to using a Glock. It can get your fingers after a while in the sense of, you know, have a little bit of an impact and there are mag loaders that you can get to assist with that. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the ZEV uh, pistol. Now, you may have noticed throughout the review, I had to take the threaded piece off because I couldn't get it tight enough 
to remain on there when shooting. So um, you know, I might have to look at putting them just a little bit of Loctite or something on that. Um, but you know, that's easily fixed. Now, uh, as for the functionality of the pistol, I mean, look, fantastic, a pleasure to shoot. At the end of the day, it's still got that Glock feel about it. Um, you know, you can't get away from that because it's just a simple design here. However, it's a very customized feel, um, if that makes sense. Now, trigger is nice as far as, you know, Glock triggers go if you're used to shooting a Glock. Okay, um, you know, it's only so good, you know, with the design and the mechanism. Um, and this is pretty nice. I enjoyed the short reset on it. Um, you know, the sights, we got the high-vis uh, orange front sight there. That came up to the eye really nicely. Um, just the textured grip is really good in the hand there. I had no problems with, you know, uh, loading or ejection or anything like that. The pistol just ran, you know, very, very smoothly. So, you know, you wouldn't expect anything less for that price, obviously. So, yeah, guys, overall, um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, very nice, lightweight, uh, customized feel to this pistol. All right, guys, we'll leave the review at that. So till next time, we'll catch you then.